Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video I will tell you how to use the timeline feature which is this one in Excel. Now this is available only in Excel 2010 and 13. Now what it does is it allows you to make your pivot table more interactive as if it was not earlier. <laughs> but this is a really really cool feature. Now what it allows me that I can now look at data using these timeline filters see i just need to collect on select any any specific quarter and i can now check that data i can even check data for several quarters stuck together i can actually go ahead and either sort it on years again i can choose to see which year which how much part of that year or all the years together or see I can sort it via months if I want to check it only for a specific month see nothing happened in this month see and let's see okay in February 2009 there were sales but in March April May June there were none I can even sort it by days this is an amazing, amazing feature. I love this part. Now, how do we create it? It's very, very easy. Okay, what we need to do is, all we need to do is, uh, we create a pivot table, correct? Like how we usually do. Say, select all the data, press Alt N V, Alt N V, click OK, and then select whatever data you want to display just don't select dates say for example i want to select country then i want to select city and then i want to select total sales all right now i'll click inside the pivot table and click on insert timeline it will be under analyze i click on date click ok and my timeline automatically comes over here I can resize it to my choice I can recolor it according to my choice I can even have the labels see removed just see I click on header and the date label gets removed I click on scroll bar uncheck it the scroll bar goes away it comes back see I uncheck it it goes away the selection table this was the range which was depicting the selection table and the timeline which is over here so we this is customizable all right and now let's start use it using it again let's say okay I want to see it for specific quarters here it is I only want to see it for quarter 3 in 2009 nothing happened quarter 4 nothing happened 2010 quarter one nothing happened what was happening with this company <laughs> all right so this is how you use timelines how do you remove a timeline you simply right click it and click on remove timeline it will be removed i hope you like this video so until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning